There you are. Hello, everybody. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the Yarn Hookers Live. And uh, everybody say welcome to our very special guest, Erica, that way. the Hello, lopsided everybody. crafter. That way, that way. That way. <laughs> uh, you know, I get so confused with stream yarn. I'm like, where are you? <laughs> And boy, do we have a great show for you tonight. Am I right, ladies? That's of right. Course you're right. <laughs> um, so anyway, tell us, how, how about you tell us about yourself, Erica? Okay. Um, my name is Erica. <laughs> um, I learned to crochet from my great-grandmother many, many moons ago. And I was about eight years old, you know, kind of sat it down for a little bit, picked it back up in my, uh, my senior year of high school because um, I grew up in a military family and I had all the credits that I needed to graduate when we came back stateside except for one. But at the time, they wouldn't let um, early release or anything like that. So they had this crafting class and we crocheted and knitted and cross stitched and did all the yarny things. And so <laughs> I picked it back up then and, you know, uh, left it alone a little bit again until I got pregnant with my oldest son who just turned 22. And here we are. <laughs> and here we are. I wish they had a class like that in my school. Yeah. But that would have been amazing. Yes, it was fun. It was. So, so, so you were about 18 when you learned. Ish. Yeah. Ish. Yeah. 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 My great grandma taught me the basics. Um, yeah. Because I kept, you know, hounding her. She never really thought I would pick it up. But. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. I just did something with my thing here and now it won't. Uh, that's okay. I've got my computer. Whoops. And Sorry then, about that. I oh aw. oh I uh every once in a while I touch my screen on accident. I'm so sorry. And then, <laughs> and then it's like oh wait a minute. Stella's entertaining me. Okay, nice. So then I, I got my know. name, the lopsided crafter, because I was born with um leg length discrepancy my left mm -hmm. leg is shorter than my right leg and so i'm a little mm -hmm. lopsided a little lopsided i love it i love it that's how i came up with my name the lopsided crafter oh, I, that's that. really cool. I always wondered why because hook to the left you know mel's is obvious right mm -hmm. to the left. so lopsided that's so do you wear different do you have to have special shoes made or do you put like a lift in one um up until i was 16 my left leg was four inches shorter and they went in and did a surgery on the right leg to stop the growth so now i'm about an inch shorter so i have to wear inserts in my shoes okay <laughs> and wow but it's easier to get one inch than four so yeah oh that, yeah yeah that's a big difference yes yes and i've had both hips replaced so oh my gosh it is what it is you it, it, you deal with the you know the hand you're dealt so yeah, yeah. Yeah, yep. that's right. They make the best with what you got. That's what I always say. Yep. <laughs> and it's funny that you talk about you're being lopsided because my daughter with her um, scoliosis and the surgery she had, and she still got, of course, it, it wasn't hundred percent. I, I like to say she's still a little bit twisted, but that's the way we like her. So right, right, <laughs> exactly. If we were all perfect, it wouldn't be any fun, right? right. Exactly. That's right. We'd all be walking around, you know, perfect. Ew. Little step, step. <laughs> It'd be a little step for a dish. Yeah. Here, <laughs> let me say, let me say hi to everybody that's that's coming in. Okay. Uh, hey, Lashira and Samantha and Rosie and Michelle, Elaine. Hello, Ed and Vicky and Denine. And whoops, whoa, I'm way behind you guys. What is up? Hi, Barbara and Tammy. And it's time for yarn. It's time for yarn is another Erica. That's right. And she, she was on last week. We were we were doing a community show. Her and these creative hands. 
Her name is D. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, hello, Wanda and Tracy and Loopy Treasures and Marsh Knitting and Miss Jamie and Jenny. Erica Squad, hashtag Erica Squad. There you right. go. <laughs> Lulu and Miss <clears throat> Alice and Hannah and Jenny. You guys tell me if I miss anybody. Yarn Arm She, Quilty. Oh. I I said, it looks like you're catching everybody so far. Hi. And hi, Connie and Deborah and Miss Judy and not for frogging. And I think I. I think I've got everyone. We had Kathy and Pamela pop in. So hello, yeah. everybody. Hello. Oh, I, Jamie might have you beat here, Erica. She says, you're so cute, Erica. Love the way you can see the humor in what you got. Oh. I got only one eyeball that I had an avocado oh. tattooed on it. <laughs> oh, no. Bless your heart. And, and she is. She is totally twisted. <laughs> I can second that. <laughs> So you guys, it's so awesome to see everyone. Hello, and, hello. and show of hands, who all here already knows Erica, knows and loves Erica uh, from her YouTube channel. Let's see, you've got a YouTube channel, an Instagram, website. website. Have you? Are you doing the TikTok dances yet? I I started, but you know. <laughs> I'm I'm doing more of the reels. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But what is it? I was watching one YouTuber. You know, you can watch the YouTubers about doing YouTube or about doing social media. And they say, pick two. Pick your primary and your secondary, but pick mm -hmm. right. two. And that's what you focus on. <laughs> right. Like, okay. For me, it's YouTube and Instagram. I try a little on Facebook, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, well, it's hard to keep up with so many different mm -hmm. platforms and their algorithms. And if you spend all your time doing the posts here and there, then you ain't got time for anything else to right. actually make something. So, yeah, right. Yeah, that's so true. How, how do you keep up with what you do? Because I know, especially like with some content creators, you know, you just create content. But with us, our content, like a lot of it is what we make. So we have to you know, also balance the time we have to make stuff. Right. I have a schedule. Do you? And I have to, if I don't stick with the schedule, I will squirrel in a heartbeat. Wow. I will start this and then I'll be like, oh, but I really need to do this and I'll run over here or yeah. it'll be the exact opposite. I'll be like, oh, well, I'm going to do this until it's done and this can wait. Yeah. <laughs> so I have to schedule or... That way, each item gets, you know, the attention right. serves. <laughs> it right. like it should. Right. So, do you, when you schedule, do you have like a, a set hours of the day that you do your your it, your? It depends. Mm -hmm. I I don't do anything on Wednesdays because that's the day I I go and eat lunch with my mom every Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So Wednesday is my day off, if you will. Uh huh. Um, Everything else kind of works around the weather because I dye my yarn outside. Mm -hmm. So if it's going to be raining or something like that, then I put something else in the yarn dyeing slot and move that where it needs to go. So, Okay. okay. Wow. You, you dye. So all of that, yarn. I was, that was a question I was going to ask you, you guys, not only does Erica, make beautiful things with yarn she also makes her own yarn <laughs> well it's amazing guys it in beautiful colors by yarn here's one of them this is my signature shop color this is called 80s tie-dye oh my gosh i love that so pretty. fingering weight and it's 75 percent nylon or excuse me 75 percent wool 25 percent nylon okay so that's, all that's beautiful on my website yeah yeah and you guys for anybody who wants to know we put all of erica's links down below in the description in the description we're also in just a few minutes i'm gonna get on um uh, get on the computer here and instead of a, a slideshow like we usually do i'm going to just pull up your like your website 
and right. and and we'll all have a look around in there. Sure. We'll all have a look around on your website and your Instagram. We'll show everybody your YouTube. <laughs> We're gonna go play at Erica's house. Yeah. 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 Erica's house to play. <laughs> so hey Kim. Hi Kim. Hi. So hey, you guys, do you have any questions in the chat for Erica? <laughs> oh, Judy, I'll tell I'll tell you what I what I told Erica and Mel. I had my hair up in a braid and then it was a it was a smaller braid because I didn't do all my hair. I just did part of it, braided it up and then left it there for a couple of days. And it looks so pretty, Judy. It does. We, her that we, we were both telling her that this earlier. Yeah. It was so pretty. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Ed. Ed. Yeah, it says she does some beautiful colorways. Thank you. Yeah, for sure. Um, and you you have your um your shawl that you're making with you right now, don't you? Yes. yes. I want to, this is what it looks like worked up. And and this is this is a crochet design that she's uh I'm I'm also testing it. It's very I love those colors. This mm -hmm. is blueberry cobbler and this is purple. I love the can you get the doll? I love those colors. Huh? I'm working on. You can move now. Yeah, see, now you can see the, the yeah. railroad tracks now. Yeah. Bring them to me. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, the beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful Thank you. yarn. Oh, it's, um, yarn Erica something. asks, how, how did you get into hand dyeing your yarn? Well, I dabbled in it a little bit here and there. Um, I wanted to make a shawl, could not, in fingering weight, could not find the colors that I wanted. So mm -hmm. I decided to dye it myself. And in a couple months ago, I, on a whim, I dyed up a couple hanks of the same colorway and put it in Etsy and all 30 of them sold out within two days. Wow. I figured if amazing if that was gonna happen then that was my niche so i'm kind of gearing my story to more than your average yarn dyer because i want to be able to show the hand dyed yarns but i also want to be able to design patterns not only in my yarn but um yarn of all budgets and all mm -hmm. prices so yeah. it's going to be geared towards everything. Yeah. Yeah, so. that's that's perfect. Yeah. Oh, um Kim asks what dye what is your preferred dye brand to use? Preferred bear yarn company. Um I use um Dharma acid dyes. Mhm. Mm and as far as my yarn, when I was not a business. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I'm so sorry. When I was not a business, I was, I got it from Nomad. Um, once I became a business with my resale license and everything, I get it from Yarn Undyed. Okay. So I say yarn undyed is not available unless you have that resale license. It is available, but you get a much better discount. Okay. You are if you have a resale license. Okay. Yeah. And then um, as far as my cotton, I get that from. I also get the dye from Dharma, and then I get the cotton from Wool to Dye For, because I dye a hundred percent Pima cotton also. Okay. Ooh. So what all what all kinds of yarn do you dye? You, the Pima cotton. The Pima cotton. Then I dye. Um, I currently have um, fingering DK and worsted. Mm -hmm. The worsted weight and one base of the DK is a hundred percent wool. The rest of it is a wool nylon. Okay. Okay. And Alice asks, what are your most eco-conscious products? Um, that would be the cotton. Okay. Definitely the cotton because it's all organic. Now, 
popping into the room, and I'm going to say hi to them really quick, are the Lorries. I call them the Lorries. It's Lori Armstrong and Lori Hobson. And Velvet Hall have just popped into the room. And Hannah's Crafty. So, hello, everybody. Hi. Okay. So, now, I, I, may, I don't really know what Pima Cotton is. Is that, like, how where it's from? Or is that... Um, Pima cotton is basically, in a nutshell, it's a type of cotton. Mm -hmm. It's almost like Egyptian cotton, so it's very, very soft. It's not like your kitchen cotton. Okay. Mm -hmm. Extremely soft, has a very beautiful drape. Let me see if I've got... Here is... Here is one that's undyed. Mm-hmm. So it's a, this one is a fingering weight, so it's extremely thin. It's extremely soft and squishy, mm -hmm. and it works up beautifully. This is something else that I'm just kind of playing around with right now. Ooh, that, oh, that is really pretty. It's gorgeous. And is that, and so that is a yarn that you dyed, that color yeah. right there. Yes. That's gorgeous. That, that is really, what's that color called? Uh, we will have to look in my shop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and speaking of, I am pulling up your shop. I cannot remember off the top of my head what I need. Right. <laughs> right now. And let's see. I'm going to lopsidedcrafter.com. And let's see. I'm going to share. Share screen. Sorry, I always have to talk myself through this because I'm <laughs> really bad at oh, working. I should be talking, but I ended up with Estella in my lab. So I'm over here going, I'm just, yeah, I'm just petting her. I'm like, mm. <laughs> so I have a little Stella in my lab. Okay, here we go. Oh, there we go. Nice. Got, the, got, your, got your website pulled up here. And um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go straight to you. And this is you guys for anybody wanting to uh, to follow along. We're at the lopsidedcrafter.com, and there's there's the pattern right there. The cap brush. Cap brush. It is. It was called spring kitchen. flowers. I'm so sorry. Because it's, I didn't. It's, colorway, it's, that blue colorway is spring flowers. Yes, and it's not been added to the website yet, but it will be today. <laughs> gotcha. That is very, Y'all very are pretty. first here exclusive on yarn hookers. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. And um, so you have a blog also. Crocheting and knitting is a good way to ease anxiety. <laughs> Love that. New merch. Ooh, I like that. Buy stitchual. <laughs> yes. Official Yarn Hoarders Anonymous member. I love it. <laughs> and so this, if I click here, will it take us to your... Um, no, you go up to the top. Okay. And go to under shop. Oh, shop. Okay. No, just click on, yeah. Just okay, shop. here we go. Oh, thanks, Jamie. Jamie, put your link up there. Thank you. Okay, so you've got fingering weight, Pima cotton, DK, and yarn. Now, yarn is that? You offer a subscription as well. That's cool. Yeah, yarn is just everything okay. you know, lumped into one. Okay. It's, it's okay. the way the website does it. I'm, now, know, which, another animal. <laughs> now, which, uh, which kind of yarn do you think it holds its color better? Um, it really depends. Um, they're both a completely different dyeing process. Mm -hmm. Wool is hot and um, the cotton is cold. The cotton, you have to actually let the dye set for mm -hmm. at least 24 hours like you would on a t-shirt if you were tie-dyeing it. Mm -hmm. okay. And then 
um, the cotton will absorb the yarn. I mean, excuse me, absorb the dye, but it does not absorb it the way that wool does. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Oh, that those colors are beautiful. Yes, that's the eighties tie dye. That's the eighties tie dye. Okay. Yeah. And is that the one that you were showing us that's yes. behind you? Okay. Yes. Yes. That is our signature shop colorway. That's gorgeous. Yeah. Okay. I can see I'm going to have to get some yarn. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Just a little bit. Just yeah. a little bit. I okay. like the big nudge there, though, Ginger. You're like, oh, look. <laughs> oh, look. look, yarn. And this is. And now the colorways, do you do all the colorways in all the yarns? Yes. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so you have, a, so you're this, this signature colorway that you have, you have it available in cotton. You have it available in the. I will. Yes. Mix. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Cotton, I'm still kind of playing with the colors because the colors aren't quite the same mm -hmm. as they are okay. with the wool. Okay. And this one, the reason why I named it Happy Mistake was because when I was dyeing it, I was I was finished dyeing this and then was dyeing the purple. Mm -hmm. And when I was mixing the colors, the wind blew. And I didn't realize till I went back to put it up where it needs to go for the night that it had purple speckles on the top of it. Wow. Oh, wow. Blue, so. Cute. I love it. Yeah, that is a happy mistake. Yes. <laughs> Very happy mistake. So I'm interested in your mystery yarn club. Yes. Tell us about your mystery yarn club. Well, right now it is just yarn. There's no extras. So it's the same price as it would be if you were to buy a normal hank of yarn. Uh -huh. Each month we'll have a different theme. It's built on the first month and shipped out by the 25th. And currently with the normal mystery yarn, you have a choice between fingering, worsted, or DK. And then we also have a Stephen King Mystery Club, which those yarns are based on different books or scenes or movie posters from Stephen King each month. That is, and now how many months have you been doing that so far? Um, I've been doing the Stephen King since February. That's real. So, like, what have you done the shining yet? I have. No, what? I have oh. not done the shining. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What, what, uh, I don't even know. what color are you going to do for the shining? <laughs> yeah, I know. I can't tell you. It's a mystery. <laughs> oh. Okay. So, what what books? What 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 movies have you done so far? I've done um, Pet Cemetery. Uh huh. I've done It. I've done Christine. Mm hmm. Um, and this month is um. Oh, hold on. I don't know if I remember what the name of the move of the book is, but I can show you what the cover is. Okay. Sandlot. Mm. Okay. And so what, what yeah. colors, what colors did you do for those? Well, I haven't done them yet, but this is this month's That's inspiration. Color? Yes. Okay. Okay. So, okay. so, so it'll be blues and blacks and white. Okay. So like for it, was that like red and white and black or? No, I did um, the new version yeah. of it. So it was yellow, red, green, black and white okay okay that's cool very very cool and christine what do you do for christine um i will show you my inspiration picture okay awesome um alice asks how do you deal with copyright issues when you're dealing with pop culture themes um i don't <laughs> advertise As far as Stephen King, it's based upon. Okay. So, but I will not do anything as far as any licensed, 
pro, you know, okay, product. This, is, this this yarn color is inspired by correct, like, right? Okay, correct. correct. <laughs> okay. okay, you know, I can't say this is going to be like a Care Bear yarn or this is going to be a Star Wars. You can say inspired by, but you can't say that it is. Okay, there's a very fine. <laughs> fine line there yeah yeah i can i can imagine yeah i when when i saw i i didn't even know that you had the stephen king mystery box until oh what that's the so picture. i imagine it's got like some oranges and kind of reds and teals and maybe yep. going into a darker teal yep oh very pretty yep oh gosh how gorgeous that wow. is gorgeous yeah, I got super exciting because, like, who has a Stephen King mystery box of yarn? <laughs> That's, mm -hmm. like, the coolest thing ever. Uh, Melinda, you are correct. Rose has gotten every month of my Stephen King yarn. Oh, she has? That's awesome. Yes. Oh, wow. That's really cool. Yes. That is so awesome. That, now, the, Rose. From Rose um, on the Rose likes crochet. That is so cool. Has she, what has, has she shown anything she's made with him yet? Not yet. Um, she's going to, the last we talked, she mm -hmm. was going to save them and put them all in one big project, like a shawl or right. something to that effect. Yeah. Oh, ooh, you know what would be really cool? You know what would be really cool to make out of them? Your My Coziest Memories blanket. Mmm. That would be amazing. <laughs> it would be. And when you and I just because I can't I can't remember names. You're talking about the mitered square blanket. Yeah, the mitered square. So when you cover up, it's like you're 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 covering up in Stephen King. <laughs> As you read your next Stephen King novel, you're covering <laughs> yeah. up right. in novels. You'll right. feel kind of kind of frightened. <laughs> I love right. it. Yeah, Jamie, look at everyone gush. <laughs> Right. Oh my gosh, we all love Rose. Am I right? Yep. <laughs> legalities. Lori says legalities. Yes, yes, yes. Legalities. Two yep. perks. Yes. For the the Stephen King blanket. All right, you ladies. I'm gonna step away for just a few minutes. I should have gone restroom before I started here, but I I didn't, and now okay. I need. To okay. Okay. You, you run. Do that. <laughs> I <laughs> am. Oh, you know what I. I need to, uh, I went over to another, I went over to your Instagram and now I need to share from your Instagram. So I have, I have to figure this out on, uh, cause it went to, it went to a different, um, page. So you guys, any questions while I'm, uh, well, I'm trying to get this technology figured out. Oh, it's a handful, isn't it? It it, it is. How did you? Okay, so I know we're we're like same generation, right? So you're 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 younger than me, the but how much? <laughs> how, how do you feel like the learning curve has been on learning all the technology to do your channel and everything? The channel has been okay. The yeah. website, on the other hand, I about threw my Mac out the door last weekend. <laughs> I told my son when the, when the internet first started, mm -hmm. you had this little disc that you popped into your computer from Microsoft. You built your little website you threw it up there on the internet and it was all done yeah now you've got to go over here to fix this to fix that before you can fix this and it's just like yeah it's that has been the hardest thing for me is to, to figure out a website yeah i finally what i did was once i figured something out i actually um saved it as a draft and then copy it <laughs> Yeah, that's smart because yeah. it's like, did you ever, okay, I don't know if you overlapped any when you were, did you go, you went to uh, college? So when you're writing 
a college paper, did, did they still, did they have computers yet? Yeah. Um, yes. Yes. Cause I was older. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. They didn't have computers. I was on like the very, the, my last year of college, it was just like starting to have the ability to use computers to write papers. Yeah. Wow. And uh, nothing, nothing is worse than getting a full thing written and pressing the wrong button and yes. it's gone. Yes. My first computer was a big, huge IBM and one of those dot matrix printers that went me. Yes. <laughs> I, I had one of those too. Oh, yes. that was terrible. Um, yes, yes uh, Judy, I do um, do the mini skeins also. I will admit that um, a lot of the stuff that I actually have currently dyed is not in my shop because I'm going to be a vendor at a fiber festival in August. So I'm trying to get some stuff set aside for that, but I will definitely be um, offering some mini skeins. I'm trying to see, I don't have any here within hand reach of me, but yeah, that's, I definitely will be doing minis as well. That's exciting. I love mini skeins. Yes. Mini skeins are like, oh, this is so much fun. What are we going to do with this? Right. Um, let's see. Oh, Alice says, I'm all questioned out. And then she said, just kidding. Do you take vacations? <laughs> <laughs> Not really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, what's a vacation? Yeah, yeah. I would imagine at this point in your business, that's not a thing. Right. Yeah. Right. No. no. Yeah. I'm she said she was the proud owner of a work. Same. Yep. Yeah. I thought yeah. I was getting all high tech when I got a word processor. Yeah, I had the floppy disk also. <laughs> oh, crazy. <coughs> Excuse me. Yarn arm, she says, ours were green screen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't remember whether mine was green screen or uh, amber. You know how they had the amber? Uh huh. I don't remember either. Yeah. God only knows. <laughs> So your, I love your Instagram. Thank you. Beautiful. Yeah. This is uh, this this is. I I'm always showing stuff, and you you've come to the the yarn hookers lives in the past, so you know that I always get on here and show yep. yarn or Instagram stuff. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, well, I, I love the fact now that when you do reels, you can actually change the cover photo. Yes. So that makes your Instagram feed look so much more professional. <laughs> yes, it does. It does. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if I click on this and see a reel, if it's go, if it will play. So this is next month's. Oh, there we go. Oh. Ooh, but it's in black and white, it looks like. It is. <laughs> oh, that's really cool. What color it is. <laughs> no surprise. So do you um do you take like get on YouTube and look for like how to do things on Instagram and stuff? No, I just kind of been playing around with it and learning it here and there as I go. And, you know, of course you guys have had a lot of uh, tips and tricks too about, you know, removing yeah. your backgrounds and that kind of thing. So, yeah, that's good. Oh, this is pretty. My, just so you know, my, um, I don't think you can hear the, yeah, my, I, 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 where did all oh. about because we can get monetized on this one. So, I, 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 love it. That was the perfect song for the. I love this. I hope you don't mind me going through your reels. 
No. Nope. Only thing on the real, so Ginge, keep in mind is um, you you may end up people are always like, oh, I love supporting small businesses. Oh, oh, hold on, so just do just it. Back. Boost this video. Check out my. People are always like, oh, I love supporting okay. small oh, here businesses. We go. Okay, what were you saying, Mel? <laughs> I'm figuring out how to work this. No, that's okay. I was saying be care, be careful here on YouTube because you couldn't have demonetized by playing the music on. Oh, on the reels. okay. So okay. just, just that's for your info. I you gotcha. Thank you. Let you know. <laughs> you know, she says a freak out my cat. <laughs> yeah, I was not expecting that. <laughs> All of a sudden, I, I, I. <laughs> you can't go blush. <laughs> Can't go bad with little Ozzy, right? Yeah. <laughs> that was. Uh -huh. It's a great train. Ed says he has an Atari system. Yay. <laughs> uh -huh. Nothing wrong with that. I rebought the Atari stuff. It's not the actual Atari system because now they've got it all condensed in one thing. Right. But I bought that for my husband for Christmas one year because it's such a throwback for him, you know? Right. Long. Yeah. Yeah. I play some games Yep. Rose says she played a few games on it. Nice. A long way. <laughs> Imagine joysticks used to be just one handle thing and a one button. That's all you had. Yeah. Now you're like, all these buttons. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I can't even I can't even start playing video games because if I find one that I'm addicted to, then I'm just addicted to it. And I can't stop. Which is kind of like I get on the crocheting. And I can't stop. That's why I haven't been posting very many things. Like, how do you stop yourself from crocheting and knitting to post stuff? I, Hard. Um, I have kind of adopted, I don't know if you follow the Crazy Sock Lady. She's a knitting podcast. Mm -hmm. um, she has what she calls 30 day or 30 days. 30 minutes of knitting. Mm -hmm. And so for 30 minutes, at least 30 minutes, I work on one particular project that is for me. Mm -hmm. And okay. then the rest of the day is either the designs or the, or the yarn dyeing or whatever I need to do for the business side of it. But 30, at least 30 minutes a day is for me. <laughs> And if I don't do that, I don't think I would stay sane. And, you know, <laughs> I, right. like I like that. Yeah. I'd, I'd have to pare mine down to maybe an hour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> an hour of just for me and then. <laughs> right. Well, and, you know, it, that doesn't happen every day. Like, when right. I'm not up, I'm, you know, I, I take the time for me. But, you know, the, the beauty of owning your own business is you can make it as big or as small as you want. If yeah. you want to go way out there and overwhelm yourself and have all kinds of employees, then you can, or you can, you know, bring it back and just, you know, do it for right. fun or, you know, whatever works for you. So, so now did you knit first or crochet first? I crocheted first and I'm a self-taught knitter. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Same, same here. Yeah. Same I was, here. I had actually only crocheted, I mean, excuse me, knitted probably a year when I designed this shawl. Ooh. Wow. Like it's like a watermelon. Yes. And that's, that's, you just did that. Was it last year? Yep. Yeah, I thought so. That is so pretty. Yeah. This is called Express Yourself. And it's got a little bit of the mosaic knitting on the front. You mosaic knit? Yes. Oh. Okay, I'm going to have to make that shawl. How long was it after you learned to, sh learned to knit that you created that shawl, did you say? About a year. About a year. So that's amazing. That's amazing. Thank you. Wow. Wow. So mo is mosaic knitting anything like cro mosaic crocheting? It's just uh, basically slip stitches. Okay. It's a lot easier. Really? So mosaic knitting is easier than mosaic crocheting in my opinion oh my gosh so that that's gonna you're be just, you're just slipping you're just slipping stitches you're not even working that color at all you're just slipping it and going on to the next color huh oh. 
Okay. In my opinion. Okay. I'm going to have to make that. I'm going to have to make that. <laughs> That's really, that's really cool. We did a, um, I know that you had, I showed everybody that mosaic spider. Yes. That you have on your, uh, oh yeah, that's, you have an Etsy shop mm -hmm. and a Ravelry shop. Yep. Um, probably going to be opening um, Lovecrafts as well. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to decide if I want to stay on Etsy with all the, stuff going on yeah with all the influctuations there yeah 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 but i currently my patterns are on ravelry and etsy okay okay we'll i the one of them oh let me see the whole thing that is oh, cute nice this i love it this is designed with um karen cotton cakes Okay. It's okay. called the Alice Spring Tea. Mm -hmm. And it is the way that I wrote the pattern. It's totally customizable. You make, you do your measurements mm -hmm. and you crochet it based on the yarn and hook size you want and your measurements. Oh, that's so it's more of like a recipe. So I show you how to measure yourself, what to do and. Right. Huh? So you, break, you really break it down. Now it looks to me, is that a top down type of top or is it, um, uh, it is. two pieces of two panels? It, it's top down. Yeah. Top down? Okay. Yep. That's really cute. And I have really been wanting to um, make some summertime tops, you know, find some good designs yeah. for, for summertime tops mm -hmm. because um, most of what I can see through. Because a lot of the summertime designs you find for summertime tops, you're like, okay, well, I need to wear at least another layer under that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which I don't mind doing in the summertime, you know, if it's a cami or something like that. But, mm -hmm. um, yeah, because apparently, like, most of the shirts I have are Genesis. <laughs> <laughs> I got a bunch of free T-shirts one time, and there you go. <laughs> hey. Why the heck not? David, I've missed you, David. Hi, David. David. Oh, Jess says she loves to mosaic knit. Mm -hmm. Greetings, David. Hello, hello. So, um, do you have any? So, you have that 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 top, which I love. Do you have any other like summertime tops? <laughs> Not yet, but um, they are in my sketchbook and coming soon, hopefully. <laughs> awesome. Hi, crazy yarn cat lady. <laughs> I think, are we all crazy yarn cat ladies? I know I am. <laughs> yeah. And dogs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I got to tell, I gotta tell you, I have a hot Frito chip in my hand. It was like a Dorito type chip that was very spicy. And I held it out to Penelope and she just came up to it. She didn't even lick it or smell it. She just came out and took like a human bite out of it. <laughs> I was like, Did she regret it? Did she regret it? She ate the whole dang chip. I because I wanted to see if she started feeling bad. She was like, uh -huh. Nope. I'm gonna eat the heck out of that chip. She eats peanuts too. That's mm -hmm. hilarious. I just show this. I took my took. You know, we're talking about animals. I took my um dog to one of my dogs to the vet just a regular checkup to get her shots and stuff. But I love her ears. Look at that dog. Oh, look at those ears. So She's got the best ears. I had I had to put the great the gate in the back because um, my dog my car was smelling too much like dog. So <laughs> I hear you. My son has a cat. And whenever you bring McDonald's French fries in the oh. house, he comes right up behind me and oh. sits on my shoulder, puts his face like right here, <laughs> hoping that I'm going to miss my mouth. And I'm like, <laughs> move over. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. What we, what we don't do for our dogs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't have, any, I have a cat who is a cheese lover. Oh, that's what he's a cheese lover. So interesting. Bring out any cheese yeah. he's trying to get at you. Oh. And then another one that is a chicken lover. That's not uncommon, but he's to the point where he will run off with the chick. The like, you get wings, so you have the drum, 
He'll run off with the drum. If he's anywhere near him, it's like, <laughs> okay, then. That's funny. Um, like that is funny. Like, yeah, it looks, looks like there's a bunch of uh, cat, la cat, cat and dog ladies in here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Lori, your dog would eat jalapenos? Oh, no. oh, my gosh. Wow. Good Lord. Uh, is this Miss Your Mouth Cats? Absolutely. This is Alice. Absolutely know how much less coordinated we are than they are. <laughs> uh, that's probably very true. Yeah. They're like, it's yeah. going to happen. I know it's going to happen. Yeah. When I'm over, we don't have dogs, but Brandy has dogs. Uh, my my daughter and her husband and, you know, Emmy's mom. And, Emmy and Abby's mom. And I will be like getting chips out of a bag. And the dogs will just stand there and wait for me to, you know, drop, drop chips. Yeah. yeah. Or as soon as Emmy, like when she's in her little jumpy seat, I give her those little O things, you know, the oh, little right. baby crunchy O's. And they'll sit around and wait for her to drop one. And one of their fa I could not believe it. I took her up out of the little seat and, and put her down on the ground. And she had some stuck to her stomach. She <laughs> <laughs> came over and to bob her stomach. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Lori's schnauzer likes pickles. What? Pickles? That's so That's awesome. Crazy. So so what's your what's your favorite? Crochet or knit? Um it kind of depends on what I'm making. Mm -hmm. Um, I personally like knitted socks better than crocheted socks because I feel like they fit better. 100%. Um, now like garments, like we were talking earlier, about 90% of your knit garments, you don't have to wear anything underneath them. Yeah. So it, mm -hmm. it kind of just depends on what, what I'm going right. for. I try right. to... I try to do both <laughs> equally. <laughs> right. Well, and also you have to be in the mood, like, seriously, yes. I, like, are you, are you emotionally tied to either crocheting and knitting and like, Hey, I, I need to feel a certain way. So I'm going to have to knit or I feel a certain, I need to feel a certain way. So I'm going to crochet. No, I, <laughs> I go about it the opposite way and it's probably not the best way, but I'm like, Oh, I haven't crocheted for my people in a while. I need a crochet. <laughs> so I kind of go at it that way. Right. Well, that, 30 minutes, you know, <laughs> that that's probably a good way to do it. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I do therapy crochet. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Just making it. Oh, you go ahead and say that. Lori says, I have less sympathy for your vomit cleanup this morning, Ginger, now that I know you really need, you know, I didn't even think about that. It, it was only <laughs> one spicy chip. I only gave her one spicy yeah, chip. But they have a little tiny stomach. <laughs> a little okay. tiny stomach. Yeah, duly, duly noted. <laughs> Jess making it says, my dog just turned up her nose at Cheesy, Pup, cheesy Puff. What the heck? So picky. She doesn't even like pig cheese. And here's the funny thing, Jess, is I had a dog. Um, she was a, oh, she's no longer with us, but she was a um, Border Collie Chow Chow mix. So she was this big black fluff ball. And I would give her a cheesy, we call them cheesy poos, but same thing. Give it to her and she chewed it. Like, <sighs> enjoyed it. <laughs> it was hilarious. Anyway, I had to cute. chew it. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, need okay. Your she needs a good pattern for inspiration to get back into knitting. Yeah. What's what's it? What what is a good pattern you'd recommend for for? Um, it depends on what you're looking for as far as garments, shawls, anything. Stephen West, as far as knitting, I think is, I mean he's he's eccentric. Um, so you can either use his pieces as a masterpiece to hang on your wall, or you can wear them as a shawl. I mean, he's got anything from shawls to sweaters to knit mm -hmm. pants. Wow. So Steve, Steve, now, 
I've heard a lot about Stephen West, but I have never crocheted anything or I mean knitted anything from him. He is not only is he a fantastic designer, but if it is um, a pattern that he has released in its new technique, it's all on his YouTube. He shows you how to do it mm -hmm. step by step. I mean, he's oh, a fantastic designer. That's Eccentric. really good to know. Very eccentric. <laughs> that's good. I hey, I like the eccentric. Yes. Oh. Yep, yeah, Michelle, that is what you missed this morning. Cat vomit. <laughs> yes, exactly. Crafty chats. But uh, Stephen West is like the knitter's rite of passage. Yes. So she said that's hilarious. Hi, Jules. Hi, Julie. Hello, hello. We're talking about knitting right now, Julie. Are, are Stephen West patterns kind of difficult? Not at all. He, um, like I said, he shows you, um, especially if it's one of his mystery knit alongs, he will show you step by step how to do every part of the pattern on his YouTube channel. Obviously, he doesn't tell you what the pattern is because he wants you to buy said pattern. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. He will show you step by step. Now, if you have bought the pattern, then you have um, links to a different YouTube video that actually oh. step by step the rows because those are unlisted. That's awesome that he does that. Yeah, yeah yes. that's neat. You know, that is really neat. And what's the name of his YouTube channel? Just Stephen West? West Knits. West Knits. Okay. Yeah. West I, Knits, you guys. I'm like you, David. I only crochet, but you know. I'll still ask a few questions, <laughs> but I, I am a crocheter through and through. I'm with you, David. David mentioned that. He goes, I only crochet. <laughs> Me too. Me too. But, but knit, knitting is fun too. Knitting is fun too. But it's so a whole different. It's a whole new world. It is. It really is. Yeah. And then there's how, what do you think of uh, Tunisian crochet? I have been doing Tunisian crochet for 22 years. Mm -hmm. And how do you think it compares with knitting? Um, it kind of almost gives you the same effect as knitting. Although it's yeah. a heck of a lot easier to knit in the round than it is to Tunisian crochet in the round. Yeah, because you got to get one of those double double ended hooks. Yep, yep. And you've got to do, you know, part of the row, one right. row. Right. Yeah, it's, yeah. Right, right. And, but it and does it, give you the same fabric effect. Yeah, that's what I love. It's, I've been making some, um, those Entrelac Tunisian crochet blankets that I'm working on. And I, uh, I love the feeling yes. of that. But I've also got to say, too, like this blanket right here, your your design. Love that. Yeah, when you use this, is a really this makes a really good, you know. Right. Not quite can, as thin, not quite as thin as knitting, but you know when you use a smaller yarn, a smaller hook, weight, um, or something like that, that would be the drape on that has got to be amazing if you use like a DK weight on that. Oh yeah. Yep, and I actually, and I don't have it with me, but I started one with the scraps from my knit socks, so mine's fingering weight. Ooh, Ooh. yeah, I want to. That's I want to try that next. Summer blanket that would be an amazing summer blanket, something yeah. a little bit thinner. Yeah, that yeah. would It'd be absolutely amazing. Oh, Julie, Jamie wants to know how your Jaws blanket's going. Oh, and she says Jaws is coming along slowly. She's a oh, just to update you, Erica, on Julie here, she is doing, you know, the, the classic Jaws poster where I think it's that one where it shows the Jaws coming up. And, uh, to the yep. swimmer, I think. Is it to the swimmer? To the swimmer. Yeah. Okay. She's she's doing a corner to corner blanket. Oh, of wow. That. Neat. Have you done, what, what do you think about corner to corner? I like corner to corner also. You just have to watch. There are some designers out there that think that 
a graph that is designed for say single crochet color work can work in corner to corner and or to niche and, and it doesn't so you just be mindful of, of things like that like if you get a graph that say say it's 150 squares wide right for a single crochet or even corner to corner if you try to do that in tunisian that's going to give you pillow size right so right you know, just you know be mindful of things like that when you're um buying patterns because unfortunately not all the designers know what they're doing when it comes to things like that and it's unfortunate yeah yeah that that that's that's true that's um i've I've done some patterns. I've done a lot of pat. I've crocheted a lot of patterns where I've had to be very creative in the interpretation of yes. what they what they've written. Yes. Yeah. So if you're if you find one say that's written for single crochet and you absolutely love it and you want to do it in Tunisian, mm -hmm. then at that point you can make each square two stitches and two rows. Right. So you're right. Actually doubling the width and the length. Yeah. You've got it. That's kind of why I like just looking at a graph yeah. and depending on whether I want to do the interlocking. <laughs> the, but now I've never done a graph with Tunisian before. I didn't know you could do Tunisian oh, graphs. Yes. yes. You just want to make sure that you have lots of bobbins. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm oh. Gonna bobbins just with the corner to corner. I can't even imagine. Yes. What lots of yeah. Bobbins. Yeah. Wow. Oh, that would be crazy. Uh, <laughs> Thelma says out there, and I know you have David's up here, but I just want to say, Thelma says, I need help on a girl's afghan. Um, if you could be more specific, then we might be able to help. So um, so are you, what, what is it that you need help on, Thelma? And we will yeah. do it While we're waiting, David says, the men I know who know how to knit love Stephen West. Yes. So does Stephen West have a lot of men's designs? Not necessarily. Okay. Because I've been looking for some good um, sweater designs for for, the, <laughs> for my boys. He's got sweaters, but um, these are more like um, marled and kind of boom out there. Like, <laughs> like, like, hey, let's make a statement. Yes. <laughs> well, okay. I've got one. Well, like I've got one sweater. son who would dig that. Like <laughs> like them shorts that you've been um crocheting for years right <laughs> i'm gonna finish those i'm gonna finish those. Josh, i am so with i'm sorry I'm, I'm i was looking at what you posted up i'm like i am so with jocelyn right there because when i my hands don't do it right it doesn't work right <laughs> i i cannot knit the traditional way i can only continental knit so that way I hold the yarn and move my hands the same way I would as I was crocheting. I, yeah, I think that's what I do too. Yeah. Then I need to look it up because I am, I've got the two needles and I'm trying to. Yeah, nope, I don't do it that way. My, yeah. my dominant hand does all the work just like I'm crocheting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, think, yeah, that's what I, yeah, I can't do whatever. No, me neither. Ooh. I, <laughs> It's, and and J Jamie answered Thelma's question, but Thelma says, what would be a good pattern for a girl's blanket? I, it, 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 it depends on so many factors. If you're a yeah. beginner, do a search on YouTube, do a search on in Pinterest, like what Jamie's mm -hmm. saying. Um, and there's so many pattern out the ideas out there. Do you have that minor stitch uh, pattern that of, um, of, of Erica's here? That would make a beautiful, in fact, I think that's mm -hmm. a baby blanket is what you made. Oh yeah. It is yeah. A baby blanket. So it's just a matter of color choices. And I yep. think that's a very simple pattern for you to do. Oh, um, yes. I, I don't know what your skill level is, is that, is that Thelma, but I think that would make a beautiful, and then you can be as creative as you want to be with that border mm -hmm. of like ginger was. So, um, so many options out there, really so mm -hmm. many options. Oh, hi Liz crocheted more. Liz is new. Hi, Liz. Liz is new, new, new here. So welcome. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Jamie, Julie is asking, is continental knitting the same as picking? I, I have no idea what that means. I'm not 100% sure on that. Okay. I 
do not believe so, but I do not, I do not know the answer to actually answer it correctly. Okay. Yeah, I always get confused with that. It's like, it's like the same thing. If somebody asks if you're left brained or right brained, it's like, okay, yeah. I know there's a separation there and I know left brain does one thing and right brain does the other, but I don't know. Kind of like. <laughs> what my daughter's saying, y'all are right brained. <laughs> We're right brained, okay. Because yeah, right brained is more creative. <laughs> well, I'm left handed, so I'm the only one here in my right mind, is what they like to say. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh, is Erica frozen? It should be there. I okay. okay. No. <laughs> I'm trying to keep up with all the things because it does all the things. No, I was, I was like, actually, I was actually googling it and oh, cool, seeing if I could find the answer. No, we oh, didn't. Alice says Stephen West has a lot of patterns he would consider gender neutral. That's what I like the gender neutral stuff. Uh, cool. Yes, it's continental knitting is no, also known as German knitting or picking. Okay, okay. so I guess it's the same thing. Yeah. There you okay. Go. There we go. We're pickers. <laughs> hey. Uh, the dragonfly pattern for girls, is that like the, um, the, um, oh, what is that? The, the, uh, the, not the, the maid's blanket. I forget what you call it. Oh, the, uh. I know you're talking about the one, the show, the TV show. Yeah, the midwife's blanket. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Is there a cat fight? Uh, no, there was a cat um, that had um, his box of food landed on him, and his he got his oh. paw stuck. <laughs> Hang on a minute. I'm going I'm to... Okay, we're... My little dude. Yeah. Deneen, when I find a good men's sweater, I will let you know. Now, I did find one at the yarn barn, and they have, it's it's like supposed to be a Kurt Cobainish sweater, if that's what you're looking for. And I got it down here somewhere. I don't know where it is. <laughs> Erica, does your yarn room ever get messy? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to put this right here so I know where it's at, and I never remember where right here is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, same here. And I got that really cool pattern, and I'm now I've lost it. Yeah. Um, Michelle Ferguson of Two Brothers Blankets is actually working on a men's line right now. Really? Ooh. Yes. Um, a knit? Of crochet. Okay, of crochet. Oh, awesome. Awesome. There, because there needs to be more really good men's crochet sweaters. I, I think so, for sure. So none of my family would wear them, so I don't know. You know, I wouldn't be. It would be hard for me to design something without being able to try it on somebody. Yeah. My I know. And shirts and kind of people. <laughs> yeah, I know that. Um, I know that my boys would wear it if I knitted it. So I really just. Oh, yeah. Judy says, Denise Bagaday has a nice men's sweater you might want to check out. Yes, she does. Yeah, that's, I have actually, I've, I've made the cardigan before. And it, I think it's unisex. David has some men's cardigans and working on yeah. finishing another. Do you have the patterns for those, David? You know what? We'll have to have David on here sometime so he can talk all about men's patterns. I agree. If, yeah. if you would, if you would, David. That would be awesome. Oops. Okay. I, I don't know what's going on in the chat. I'm, I think I've missed a lot. Um, I am not seeing anything alarming, um, but they're talking about men, men's patterns and stuff. Uh, oh, Lori, Lori says Gary from Urban Yarn has some nice men's knitting. Oh, okay. Okay. So, another, I know, I know it's like everybody's like, seriously, you guys are turning this into an all knitting show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not all knitting. It's not all knitting. Because you guys were, if you're just coming in and talking, hearing us talk about knitting, you missed the yarn dyeing that was earlier that we were talking about. So 
Um, and uh, uh, Erica here has got some amazing, amazing uh, colorways that she sells in her shop. So, and she was talking about yarn dyeing and the different fabric, not fabrics, but and some fabrics of different uh, wools, not wools, yeah. fibers, fibers. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> How long have you been making patterns for crochet? Um, off and on for probably about three or four years. Okay. Okay, so you have a lot more crochet patterns now than you do knit yeah. patterns. Probably. I just need to convert them all and get them all up online, you know, because... Right. I was like you. I'm like, oh, I want to make this. I'm just going to make it and then not. Yeah. Write. I got a lot of patterns up in here. Yes. Up in this noggin. Yes. <laughs> um, so now you, I just actually have to write it as I'm doing it. So. Yeah. That is yeah. something that I learned from um, Julie, actually, because she, she talked about how she did it. And yeah. That, the last pattern that I created, granted, I haven't created very many lately, but the last pattern that I created, I used my notes um, feature on my phone. Mm -hmm. I would, as I did it, I would say it into the phone and have it and dictate it and then do it and then dictate it. It helped me so much when it came time to write it out because right. it's all right there. So it was very nice. That is one thing that I got for only thing I got from Julie ever. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I learned a lot from Julie. <laughs> Julie and Julie just keeps on giving. Julie is wonderful. Right. And I actually write my patterns on Canva. Oh, you do? do? You? I have it. You make them gorgeous on Canva. I have a template, and then I just fill in all the the different stuff each time. Now, I yeah, I just I just purchased a template from a designer and I am going to be, I'm going to be using that, but it's good to know that another person does this. So yeah. Yeah. Make sure that when you download it from Canva that you do change it to PDF. Oh, which, okay. Which you're, you know, when you're downloading it to your right. computer, because it'll automatically download it as a PNG and then you'll have like six pages. Ask me how I know. <laughs> How do yeah. you know? <laughs> Been there, done that. <laughs> and it's a lot easier, you know, to go in and change it. It's kind of saved up in the clouds. You don't have to, you know, bog down your computer or, or iPad or whatever you're using. Yeah. Software. So. Oh, That's yeah. That, my phone. Canva. It doesn't matter what machine you're using, phone, iPad, you, if you need to go in and do a little tweak or a little edit. Right. It's easy to get to. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I need to do more with my Canva, in fact. But um, I do. I've been doing on Canva. I yeah. love it. I love what well, I've been doing. Like what I've been making my thumbnails and stuff with is the uh, photo room. I, I really love that. And I learned about somebody learned about photo room from somebody on Instagram. Yes. And I use Canva for my thumbnails as well. I use Canva's my go to, my my first but I do I do a few color editings and other things. But. Okay, this Lori put Ginger, you should talk to text and then send that to a tester who works it up to be sure it works and then get a pattern editor to make it pretty. There you go. She's just got her whole team hired now. So get your staff together. I got to get my staff together. <laughs> <clears throat> no, but I love that because that. That's I do. That's a great idea. Piece away from you because that's, isn't that where your stumbling block is? Like you get it, you make it. And, and then moving from point, point, a, you've done point A, but getting points B and C done is where your block is. So yeah. find somebody that can do point B and somebody that can do point C and um, point B, usually you don't have to pay somebody because they get a free pattern out of it. Point mm -hmm. C, you might have to pay a little bit, but mm -hmm. um, totally worth it. I think totally worth that it. Would, that would be, you have up here. Yeah. That would be completely worth it. Yeah. Well, what was your Erica? What was your biggest block to getting patterns written? 
uh, the grading, size grading. Size grading. Yeah. See, that's something that. So I've got a few in the works and I'm actually taking a class right now and it is more geared towards knitting, but mm -hmm. it will work in both industries um, on the actual grading, you know, how to do your swatch, obviously swatch, but how to measure your swatch and know exactly how much yarn you're going to need based on that swatch. Mm -hmm. And then the grading of the pattern so that you're size inclusive. And then another thing that um, I have pro not necessarily a problem with, but a block with is um, there are certain stitch patterns that you use, but depending on what you're making, if you're increasing or decreasing, mm -hmm how to make that stitch pattern change in order to make, keep it cohesive. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That I've, I've wondered about that. Yeah. So that's I have, else that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've completely wondered about that because th there are some designers that I know on Instagram that are just constantly, you know, consistently whipping out these super awesome. In fact, I just bought one of her patterns today. Uh, <laughs> It's, I'm going to have to show it to you guys because it's really cute. But uh, <laughs> um, it's like, how, yeah, how do you do that? Right. Because it seems like it would just be very difficult. I would imagine it's probably um, software and a lot of graph paper. Yeah. I mean, you, you yeah, you would definitely have to. I'm, I'm looking up that I'm looking up that pattern right now because you guys it's really cute <laughs> so I'm distracted yeah I need a ghostwriter for my patterns and Julie says she will be my team there you go yeah. it already done Woohoo! <laughs> ask and he shall receive That's right <laughs> okay I'm pulling up that I'm pulling up that <laughs> I think I'm pulling it up. Uh, Grammy says, I have notebooks and notebooks full of my patterns. So I just need someone to type up because I don't have a computer right now. I just have my phone and the iPad. You can yeah. do it on your iPad. Yep. Do it on your phone too. True. You, yeah, you can. It may even be easier on your phone. Um, and and when the the software program that we were talking about before Canva, it is a website and an app. Yep. It is it is so easy to use. But even if you don't want to go to that point, just get Google Documents yep. and 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 or Google Drive, and then create a document and just type it up in the document, and then go from there. But um, you can with an iPad. You absolutely can. Yep. Um, but as Vijay said. Um, you can't, and I know I just mispronounced that. Forgive me for that. Um, uh, but you can also go to your local library and type it up because sometimes it is easier to type on a keyboard. But you can also get a keyboard for your iPad that's relatively inexpensive through Amazon as well. Oh, yeah, that's a Bluetooth keyboard for your yeah iPad. yeah for your iPad. That's well, you you don't have to get like the the official Apple keyboard, the Magic keyboard. That's expensive. No, just get get one. Usually they work just as well, but get a, a get a keyboard and you can it sometimes it's actually like a cover. So it looks like a little mini laptop once you have it all together. And there and I think you can find them for roughly about 20, 25 bucks, depending on the size of your iPad. Yep. I paid 20 bucks for my Apple pen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Keep, keyboard for the iPad. That's you know I've been thinking I've been wondering if I should switch over to uh, to the dark side, which is Apple. I will tell you I I when I switch over to Apple, I love it. I love the fact that everything speaks together and I mm -hmm. move from one to one to one a lot easier than any other Chrome anything. But real, you're gonna hit your pocketbook. Okay, maybe I don't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? Now you can get the Air, like the iPad Air, and it's not mm -hmm. as expensive. But if you start looking at Macs, the MacBook Air is even a little or a little bit more on the pricey side than if you were to get like a Chromebook. So, but 
the 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 when you open up the computer and you get going i have not seen on pc or chrome anything faster than a mac mac will get really? get you started it's I have, amazing. I have a macbook air and i just got the new um ipad air 2022 fifth edition in the mail mm -hmm. on thursday and they actually talk. I turn on the iPad and all of the web, uh, the tabs that I had up on the Mac automatically came on the iPad so I could continue to do what I was doing. Oh, wow. I can and, copy on my phone and paste it onto my Mac. Yes. And I can even, I have two Macs because I have a Mac for work. So I can uh -huh. copy from my Mac for work and paste onto my Mac here. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so that's I I can't say enough about things like that with the Mac. It's yeah. for the the whole a Apple series. Well, what about storage? How does it? How does the Mac storage compare to Android? Do you get more? Do you get less? Uh, compared to Android, it's comparable because nobody's doing hard storage much anymore. Yeah, I right. have, right. start, I have a, the hard drive that came with my MacBook Air, mm -hmm. and then I have an external hard drive. For anything that I want to keep, but the majority of my stuff is just saved up in the cloud. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The cloud. Okay, that's yeah. That's, that's how what I do. Yeah. I do have a hard drive as well, but an external hard drive. But um, the cloud is is my saving grace, and that's where I go to grab everything. And I don't use the Apple Cloud. I use I use Google Drive. That's my cloud. Oh. So. And you can do that. Yeah. Oh yeah. <gasps> and there's a program that I actually use called Knit Companion. Mm -hmm. um, you, there's a free version and there is a paid for version. Um, you have a lot more app. You can use it on both Android and Apple, but there's a lot more um, options on the Apple side. Mm -hmm. I can save it in the cloud. I, what you what you do is you bring you can link it with your Ravelry and your Dropbox. Okay, okay. nice. It'll bring up your pattern. It does lines for you. It has uh, hash marks for, you, for your row counters. And then if you want to say, like, say you're working on your MacBook or mm -hmm. your Windows, whatever, mm -hmm. upload it to the cloud, and then you get in the car and you download it to your phone and continue working. Yeah. Love oh, it. that's nice. Print patterns anymore since I've been using Knit Companion. That's nice. You use Knit Companion for crochet patterns too, or just yep, yep anything, even awesome. charts, graphs, anything. Yeah, I have to. I think did Julie ever tell us about Knit Companion? I know uh, she's. I think she's. she's talked, I've heard about it, and it's probably because yes. Julie did a lot of test run on all of these. Right. Right. Um, okay. Julie yeah. Kim, it's, it was either Julie or Kim that we heard it from because they're they they are the ones. Yeah. That now, now, is that only on Apple or is it on Apple and Android? It's on both, but you have more options on Apple. On Apple, okay. Like, I can actually write on it with my pen for Apple. Oh. Like oh, if oh, oh. I can oh. write a note that says, you know, like, skip this or I did this. I can actually physically write on the pattern. With the pen. Right. Right. Um, I Just one thing I thought of, too, Ginger. Uh -huh. um, uh, you know how I told you it's pricier, max, max, and, and stuff like that. Can those right. are pricier. However, your Mac will last you uh, five to ten years, whereas a Chromebook or a PC is closer to three to five before you have to replace. <laughs> yeah, but I, you can go. It, it, I'm I'm not kidding. I'm I've been working with my company for five years, and they sent me a Mac, mm -hmm. and I did have to get the hard drive replaced once, but that was a fluke. You know uh -huh. what I'm saying? Like, right. Right. Uh, so, um, but it's still going just fine. It's not, you know, once you hit that, about the three year mark with a PC, mm -hmm. somewhere in three to five, depending on how often you use it, you start to get those hiccups and you got to start looking at, you know, do I need to clean up my drive? Do I need to do this? Do you know, stuff like that. I, I haven't really run into that with my Mac, my, my work Mac at all. So just so you know, it lasts you, it's, you put more money into it, but it lasts longer. It lasts longer. Well, yeah. I know like Kim, um, afford you know, Kim, affordably crafty, dirty bestie. She was, uh, 
she was making all of her first videos, like for the first year almost, on her iPhone six. Yep. I think With Julie had had a six or the next one okay. after that, a six okay. or seven. But yeah. Mm -hmm. That's that's awesome. So and stitchboard.com is a great free website. That's what Julie says. Have you tried a uh, stitchboard? I have not. What are what are some of the best like apps and things that you've used? Um, like crochet and and um, I use the um, knit companion. Right. Um, I dabble with stitch fiddle. Mm -hmm. Um. But I more I mainly if I'm using making any type of graph or anything I use um. Max, uh, hold on. What's it called? Max Stitch. Max. Max. Max like M A C S or M A X. M A C. M A C. And is that just for Apple? Um, well, that one is, but the the normal one is called Win Stitch. Which okay. Is, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So there's yeah. not a Chrome available then. No. Okay. I did um, purchase the whole, um, I purchased it when I had a Windows computer mm -hmm. and I purchased the license to where I got automatic updates. So I never had to um, buy it again whenever they got an update. Oh, nice. Yeah. And so when I went from Windows to Mac, I contacted them and they just converted me over to the Mac. Stitch. Nice. Yeah. That's really, yeah, that's really nice. Yeah, I'm a, oh. I, if we're working stuff, I, I am a total Mac convert. And I, I and I see other people commenting and stuff that they haven't had. It. And, and it's true sometimes if you keep things updated, you don't have to get a new PC. I'm not saying that everyone's, but on, on a whole, on average, PCs you have to replace and Chromebooks you have to replace more quickly. Um, just in my experience and, and people that I know in their experience. So I'll, I'll, I'll limit it to that. Um, so anyway, just wanted to... Say, I hear you. I hear you. I know some people win Windows and for gaming, I wouldn't go anywhere but Windows, but I'm getting off topic. Sorry. <laughs> That's, hey, it's, all, it's all crocheting and it's all because we got to have the technology that helps us yeah. out with our, uh, right. you know, our, whoops, did I just freeze? Ah. No, you're fine. Oh, okay. Okay. You're fine. <laughs> So, but I've, I've used all of the above. I've used a Chrome, I've used a Mac, I've used um, a PC, and uh, I no longer use Chrome. So mm -hmm. I strictly use PC and Mac now. I only use Chrome when I have to stream yard. <laughs> but there you, go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there you go. But you know what? You'll get it down soon that you won't even have to do that. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, I wanted to show you this top. This, this And this is, what, this is what we were talking about when we were talking about different... Uh, like stitches like that, right? Like, how do you oh, grade for those? Right. Oh, yeah. Okay. And, but this is this is the top. Isn't that cute? Oh, that is pretty. I think that that is one that I just saved on Ravelry, but I had a picture of a girl. No, no, no. It was a long sleeve one. I had a picture of, look at that. See that right. size right there. Yeah, <laughs> this, is, this is Journey, um, the real Journey Chanel designs. Okay. Okay. Look at that. That's gorgeous. I love yeah. the sleeveless one, though. I love that you can that you can leave the sleeve part off. Right, and that's what I love. There's so many uh, different variations for this. You can put sleeves on. You can make it short sleeve, long sleeve. Right. And and that's what I love. Uh, that's what I loved when I was making your blanket. It was like it didn't have like a, a necessary border on it. You know, it's like kind of well, you just kind of put. You whatever adapt you to whatever you want to make make your your uh, blanket look like. Yep. Hey, uh, Julie did, and, and I, that is not spamming Julie because that is something that we started on on, on yarn hookers anyway. Uh, but Julie does have a playlist on her channel for crochet tech. So, um, and she talks about the apps and stuff like that. Yes. So I've done a whole series on on looking at the apps. If anybody's interested in that. Yeah, thank you, Julie, because that'll that'll super duper help. Agreed. Agreed. So, 
So what's your favorite weight of yarn to work with? Ooh, good question. Um, it's so hard, right? It is. It is. Again, I think it's based all upon what I'm making. I can see that. Um, yeah. Like, I'm not going to use my hand-dyed yarn to make an afghan. Number one, it's right. cool. Number two, it'd be way too costly. Right. Um, but at the same time, I don't want to use acrylic worsted weight to make a pair of socks. So mm -hmm. it's kind of all based on what I'm making. I can see that. that yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. What's your favorite hook to use? Um, I tend to use an I, an H or an I. H what is the millimeter for people like me that don't know the American size? Um, a 5.5 <laughs> millimeter is the... I think that's eight. the I, isn't it? Um, yeah, 5.5? Yeah. yeah. Is it 6 millimeter? That's, I always have to look it up. That's J, 6 millimeters J. Okay, so then it would be 5.5 would be the I. Yeah, okay. I always have to look it up, yeah. And um, what... What kind of what what yarn what hook shape do you like? Do you like a furls type I of use, hook? I use the um the um furls um not the streamline. Odyssey. Yes, I use the furls. Oh, the I, have you gotten that new uh, metal streamline hook yet? No, I haven't. No, there, I haven't. I'm. I was going to get it. I had some Furls Rewards points stored up, or dollars stored right. up, but I had to get, I'm doing this other test where I need to use, pattern test where I'm needing to use some Wonder Yarn. So right. I use that. Yeah, I can only use, it, it's funny um, because I can knit socks on the very, very tiny needles, uh -huh. but crochet, I can only use the Odyssey. Um, I was diagnosed January of last year with um, spondyla arthropathy. Oh, I've never heard of that. Never, so, I have neither. Basically, um, it's an autoimmune disease and my body attacks my tendons and ligaments. Oh my gosh. And so I have to take a, oh, a wow. weekly injection and all that good stuff and I have very arthritic hands, believe it or not. And that is the only crochet hook that I can use. Wow. With that, because it's, it's the wider and yep. does the weight feel better for you because it I know does. it's a heavier. Yeah. Hook. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And that's, that's kind of why I went towards the loom knitting also mm -hmm. because of the big ergonomic handles. Yeah. Speaking of loom knitting, you guys. So I was I was looking oh. through her her channel, and I know I mentioned this you uh, to you a little bit ago, but um, mm -hmm. I was looking through her channel and I started to go through her um, her crochet stuff, and then I saw this series on loom knitting a sock, and I'm watching this and I'm like, oh, I need to buy those looms because I need to make those socks because I can't knit <laughs> so I, and it's the thinner socks. So, you know, yeah. I, was, I was like, Ooh, that's so cool. Um, so she does have that in a series on her channel and uh, it's, it's very, very cool looking. And she even tells you, shows you what set you need to get, shows you the website where you need to get it. Everything. Really? It's so cool. Yep. Well, now how long does it take you to loom knit a sock? It again, it just depends. It does take a little bit longer um, than a needle knit sock mm -hmm. um, because you've got to, you definitely have to learn your tension as far as, you know, going around the loom. Okay. But that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, I've got two different types of looms that I use for the socks um, the orange and purple from KB Looms, which is the his and hers. Mm hmm. And then I also use um, sock looms from Cindy Wood Looms. And okay. I saw the one, the orange and purple from yep. Katie Looms. That's that's the video that I saw. And this is the yep. dude that hurt his foot, and he is perfectly fine. Yeah. Oh. 
He is oh. really kind. He hurt his foot. Yeah, well, he's the one that had it was the, his box of wet cat food with thirty two oh. cans in it that fell, and he got his foot trapped in there. Oh, oh. but he's fine. Bless him. Poor baby. He's like, Ma, stop. <laughs> She's about to sneeze. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Bless you. Can't help it. Bless you. Can't help it. <laughs> so, so what's your favorite kind of non-lopsided crafter made yarn? Is your favorite? Um, that's a good question. Um, I like Hobie yarn. Oh, I love Hobie yarn. Look at this. Oh, that is so, so pretty. pretty. This is so pretty. Judy, Judy sent me a, that is a bunch of these. Yep, that is I know. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Hobie yarn is wonderful. Yep. And I also like um, Barocco. Barocco okay. Stitch, which is a mix of your wool and acrylic. And what? What? Which one is that? Which one of the Barocco yarns is that? Vintage. Vintage. Oh, vin the vin the older. Yep, they have vintage, okay. and then they have uh, which is the worsted weight, and then they have vintage DK. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I, I have a lot of yarn from Hobie and Lovecrafts. Okay. You yep. and Lovecraft sells Barocco. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I've seen. Well, now that I know that, I'm going to have to order some because. And I'm going to go look at Yarn Barn has some Barocco yarn. Yep. I've got and some. Um, right Ooh. Oh, yeah. That's a Lovecraft bag right there. Yep. Yes. <laughs> but they don't do those bags anymore, do they? No. I'm, I don't know if they do or not. That is so pretty. Excuse I me. love that. Bless you. Thank you. It's allergies. I get. Ugh. Same makes me start coughing and stuff but yep this <laughs> Luba says she wants to grab it now through the screen <laughs> this is potentially going to be a um color work knit sweater oh Ooh. that'll be so pretty and what colors do you have there green and turquoise and uh gray it's like a, it's like a mauve gray. it's a oh, okay. so it's like Ooh. Ooh. oh that's pretty yeah that's beautiful. Julie says she likes Tivoli. Tivoli. Is it Tivoli or Tivoli? I read it as Tivoli, but you know. Uh, okay. XL from Hobie. Tomato. I've been looking for a good ribbon yarn or a t shirt yarn. Do y'all have any suggestions on that? We need to look to Pink Sheep to see. She uses a lot of ribbon yarn. I really like of the ribbon yarn. I made a bucket hat. It was the bucket hat that has the two holes for the two ponytails. Yep. It's a pink sheep design. Yep. And I used, um, aw, Julie, thank you. Mm -hmm. Julie gave me a super sticker. <laughs> um, the, the Lion Brand, I think it's Lion Brand ribbon yarn. Yeah, Lion Brand don't have it anymore. Oh. I got a whole bunch of it in some mystery bags one time. Love that. Have you used that? Um, many, many, many moons ago. Okay. T-shirt yarn and ribbon yarn, but. Okay. So, so we need to find a new ribbon yarn. Yeah. But <laughs> Pink Sheep Designs is, it has one type of ribbon yarn that she uses religiously. That's why it's. Oh, it's for healthy. What yeah, is it? it is. It's, okay. yeah. Have yeah. you tried that one? I have not yet. No. Okay. Okay. I well, have ribbon yarn sitting in my cabinet that I haven't touched yet. So I can't give an opinion on that. <laughs> she actually um, just posted her video a couple days ago about her summer um, jumbo yarns. Okay. Yeah. I saw, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Good jumbo summer yarns. And it's, you know what, it's hard to find a good lightweight jumbo yarn that is, is good, especially for wearables in the summertime. Yep. Yeah. 
and she had some cute overalls and oh and, I know. And I, I would love, love to test that crop top. But let's face it, my husband would wig if he, <laughs> he see, <laughs> you know, because you got to post your pictures on the Instagram. And my husband would be, I would test. I see that tested. No, nobody wants to see all that mess <laughs> for me. <laughs> uh, hey, I, I went ahead and did it. I, I, I posted a crop top last year. <laughs> it was scary. No, but yours was cute. This, this is, is like no. This I is like no back crop top. Okay. Oh yeah, no. Nobody needs to see all yeah, that. This is the crop no, top roulette, and I'm like, yeah, nope, not me. <laughs> I'll make it for myself, but I'm not gonna post pictures. <laughs> not, yeah. not for the world to see. Right. Nope. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm getting to be, you know what? This every month it, I go a little bit more slightly downhill. <laughs> yeah, um, Sir Catacras says I bought and dyed ribbon yarn from Hobie. That's interesting. Um, it took the dye really well, so beautiful, and it's nice and soft to work with, without being super stretchy. Oh, good to know. That's, that's good to know. Yeah, <laughs> great. So, so so far we've got good things about the Hobie ribbon yarn. Mm -hmm. Okay, gonna have to try that. I want to try every single one of Hobie's yarns. In fact, you just want to try all the yarns. I do all the, yarn. all the yarn. All the yarn. All the yarn. It's ridiculous. Hi, Lisa. Hi, oh, Lisa. It's, it, and it's early in the morning on uh, in Australia for Lisa. Ooh, is it early in yeah. the morning? I think so. I have no clue. So, so we're getting close to the end here. Um, let's find let's find out, Erica, what's going on in the lopsided crafter world. Well, um, I'm participating in a blog hop in July. Uh huh. Um, it is going to be hosted by Claire of Eclair Makery. Um, the theme is going to be based around. Um, holiday decor, Christmas and July type things. So I am currently um, for the blog hop working on a stocking pattern. Oh, nice. That oh. is so pretty. I love that. Thank you. This is Red Heart spring Retro green. and this is uh, Red Heart yeah. Spring Green. That's be oh, Jamie, <laughs> thank you for the, thank you so much for the, is that the super sticker or is that, is the blue the, uh, Super chat. I think that's a super chat. Super chat. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> but yep. Um, so I'm working on that. And then in August, August 10th, no, August 11th and 12th in um, the Charlotte, North Carolina area is the second annual um, uh, fiber festival or like my mind just went completely blank. <laughs> hey, I know exactly I what you mean. And I will be a vendor at said. <laughs> awesome. That's so cool. I will be on the Caribbean, but. Uh, oh, how fun. <laughs> I'm nice. Trying to get there. So you're, okay, this is in South Carolina, right? No, it will be, the vendor event is in North Carolina. North Carolina. We have a lot of people in the chat that, that live in North Carolina. So yeah, I actually do not live that far from Granny D. Okay. All have right. You, have you guys ever gotten together and done yarn stuff? Nope. And I'm um, 20 minutes or so from oh. Carrie. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, so wow. Carrie, Carrie and I have lunch quite often. Yeah. All right. I need y'all to like start doing yarn meetups. <laughs> yeah. Without a doubt. Because I'm sure none of y'all are terribly busy and you can just make that happen, right? Oh, yeah. All the <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me see. Hold on. Yeah, uh, David, I think she's responding to David. David says, I want to know about more about that vi event in Charlie because that's close to him. It's called the Southern Comfort Fiber Festival. Oh, hey, nice. Hey. Yeah. Southern Comfort Fiber. I love that name. And so, There's are you gonna? Lots of um, lots of yarn dyers are gonna be there. There's gonna be 
spinning wheels, weaving, all kinds of good stuff. Oh, so much fun. Nice. That does sound, and that the um the bundle you're gonna be the bundle you're gonna be a part of, um that is for those of you who don't know, Eclair or Claire from Eclair Makery does a lot of color work and a uh, lot of she has she just put her published her first book, was it last year? I think wow. so. Yeah, a lot of beautiful tapestry design. Yes. Sweaters and shirts and blankets, yeah. wall hangings, just everything. And that will be, um, like I said, hosted by her. So all the information will be on her website the month of July. Mm -hmm. And then you know, she'll tell you where to go to find that day's free pattern. Yeah, that's that's super exciting. And I think yeah. you can go to her Instagram or her website and sign up for her email list. And so then you, you'd be notified yeah. Yes. for when each of those things and for those of you who don't know how one of those things works one of the um one of the the bundles is each day there's a free pattern and yeah. and you get notified of the free pattern and um of course there's always the the option of just purchasing all the patterns together which are at a very deep deep deep, yeah. deep discount Yes. And I love buying bundles because you can get anywhere from 20 to 40 amazing patterns from amazing designers for like, I mean, it's usually less than 20 bucks. Yeah. $19.99. Yeah. 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 It's awesome. <laughs> Excuse me. So, Bless you. Uh, yeah, you. I'm excited about that. Yeah, me too. Very, very cool. Um, so <coughs> Wanda with Crochet Done My Way is asking, where are you? I'm in Greensboro. <coughs> I am um, in a little town in South Carolina, right outside of Rock Hill. So I'm at the North Carolina, South Carolina border, about 20 minutes-ish south of Charlotte, North Carolina. That's right. There's so many Carolinians here. <laughs> Whether yeah. it's north or south, we've got a lot of Carolinians here. Yep. Um, Lori says about the Fiber Fest, is it sponsored by the Bourbon Company? Because that would be an awesome combo. Bourbon. No, no, it isn't. Yeah, think <laughs> of all the, great, but it's not. <laughs> think of all the messed up projects you could have. <laughs> I don't really know why I forgot that. <laughs> <laughs> uh okay yeah david's in wilmington so but charlotte is his old 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 stomping grounds and he i know he's been over my way for um for different events i think it was a fiber festival out here or it was like a men's a men's thing um yep, like, i actually went to saf in your area last year did you okay that they just had the yarn hop i think a couple a week or two ago they just had the yarn hop I wish I would have known about it earlier and I would have taken that time off so I could really right. help with that. But, um, but now I know that they've started it up again and I'll keep an eye out for it next year. Yeah. Yes. So uh, the um, week after Rhinebeck too, if anybody, nice. that's the big event in Asheville Yeah. and it's huge. Oh, Asheville is Asheville in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. I now, when, oh, wow, I didn't, I did not, for some reason, I was thinking it was in New York. There's, Rhinebeck is in New York, but SAF mm -hmm. is in. Oh, okay. Okay, I got it. The Southern yeah. Animal Fiber Festival. It's the week after Rhinebeck. Okay, okay, I gotcha. Now, when, you also, I know you've gone to the Arkansas Yarn Crawl. When I, have, I was going to, I have not had a chance to go yet. Uh-huh. I planned to go last year and things fell through. Uh huh. And then I was going to go this year, but it is actually two weeks before my vendor event. So I'm not going to be able to do that. Hopefully, next year Hopefully. I'll be to where I can do both because, um, fingers I'm crossed. Going, right. I'm going to be, um, doing a trunk show with Lori at Arkansas Yarn Company. And she's going to, uh, she's not yet, but she's going to be carrying my yarn. Oh, so that exciting. is exciting. Yes. Yeah, so. yeah. Congratulations on that. Thank you. 
it's not official. We still have a lot to work out. You know, I yeah, still got yeah. exactly. To do, but yeah, exactly. But oh, that's fun. That's like that would be like, hey, look, mom, I made it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Exactly. Your light, your name, neon. <laughs> I got my yarn in a yarn store. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yes. Yeah. And what's going on on your YouTube channel? What? <laughs> I need to get I need to get back more consistent with it. Um, Same. Same. I do have plans this week to do a tutorial on the mitered square <gasps> that goes along Ooh. with that um, Afghan. So I've got that planned, and then. I think I'm going to lean more towards some of the more of the patterns that I offer for free that I'm also going to do um, the tutorials with them mm -hmm. as well. Okay. Now, I didn't see, do you have, are your free patterns on your website also? Not yet, but they okay. will. Be. Okay. They will. So, oh, and that would be, that would be great for people who uh, like to follow your tutorials Right. And your and look at your patterns. Yes. And did you did you say you have free patterns on Ravelry or and I'm sorry if I missed that. I have a few free patterns that they may be on Ravelry. I'm I'm in the transition of moving everything, so I'm not <laughs> quite sure where everything is at this point. Right. Um, sure. And there's so many places, so I understand. Yeah. yeah. And um Lori, if you um go on to Instagram and follow Arkansas Yarn Company. Um, they post about the um, Arkansas Yarn Crawl. You can also Google Arkansas Yarn Crawl 2022, and they have their own website. And it is in, I believe, the last week of July. Okay. Okay. Uh-oh. I'm about to sneeze again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> I am just looking at a few things. Oh, uh, Jamie's asking, what is a trunk sale? Um, a, a trunk show is basically, um, it's kind of like a consignment, if you will. You, the, the owner of the business allows you to come in with your yarn and you do kind of like a split. So it, Okay. Um, oh, that's fun. You know, you work out your parameters. It could be that they make 30% or they make 20% or they make 50%. It's just based on what they actually do. If they're going to do all the advertising and things of that nature, then of course they're going to want a little bit more, you know, than your 30%. So it's just something that you've got to work out in, uh, you know, in advance, right. you know, that person. Right. It's basically kind of like a consignment type deal. Yeah. Actually with your merchandise. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. You know, one thing I didn't, I didn't look to see. Do you do lives, Erica? I've done them in the past. Um, but I mean, no. <laughs> Oh, you, you're for everybody. Doing you're a natural at lives. Oh. I think so. <laughs> and I don't mean that to say that you're not doing great. I just know oh, no. some people, even though because even though they do great on camera and they love it, it's a it's a drain for them. So sometimes yeah. it's just not for everybody. Yep. Oh, I know. I I've been contemplating doing more. No, I shouldn't say more because more is not the word. Starting <laughs> lives on Instagram. Oh, okay. Now, I've been wanting to do that, too. Yeah, because and it, I'm trying to, I'm, you know, I want to build organically. I don't want yeah. to go out and, you know, and, yeah. Right, right. Um, yeah. The merchandise right now is just T-shirts and stuff that's made through um, Bonfire. And I you love Bonfire. order it through what? Bonfire. It looks like you, you can get you can get access to those from her website, the lopsidedcrafter.com. Okay. Yes. And and you probably have links to your bonfire on your link. Yes. Uh, bi link in bio on Instagram for those Not of you yet because I just opened the shop right before the live. <laughs> oh, I got you. I haven't had a chance to get it over there yet. <laughs> okay, well, 
Well, almost. But it oh, is also, on my website, yes. Do you have a Facebook group? I, I have a Facebook page. A Facebook page. Okay. For all of you who like Facebook a lot, Go see Erica at the Lopsided Crafter on Facebook. On there page. you go. Perfect. <laughs> Jamie, you're funny. Jamie's like, boo to Instagram lives. I'm so supported, eh? <laughs> I love it that Jamie always ends on A. Eh? Eh? <laughs> so Canadian. So Canadian. <laughs> so, but um, yeah, but I get because Jamie, you 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 are more YouTube. You're you're more on YouTube, so I can understand wanting lives on YouTube as opposed to um, right. as opposed to Instagram. Well, and I yeah. to do lives more on YouTube, like watch them more on YouTube than I I would on um, Instagram myself. I'm just this, but you know, each to each their own tomato. Right. Tomato. But you know, it's it, and that's another thing is that we want to make sure that we reach everybody because everybody has their their certain. Yeah. Um, social apps that they're more comfortable yeah. with yep but i think i think instagram uh facebook and youtube are definitely the top three right it, to, it to be on for for us it's funny because when i first started many moons ago just showing my stuff it was all facebook i was like i am not even going to touch instagram uh-huh and now <laughs> i'm on instagram and i yep. have to force myself to stay involved on the Facebook side of it. Yeah. It yeah. Is. And there's only so many hours in the day. Yeah. Only so many. Yep. Yeah. Only. <laughs> Jamie says, I am Canadian. Perhaps that's why I sound like one. <laughs> do I sound like Canadian? So from one Canadian to another, do I sound Canadian? <laughs> I love the way Canadians sound. <laughs> yes, me too. Um, so, oh, speaking of so many hours in the day, we run out of it, right? Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're almost at the end here. Yeah. Um, so what, now what's going on on your channel this week, Mel? About what went on last week, Ginger. Oh, <laughs> oh not nothing. Um, <laughs> no, you know, honestly, I have stuff sitting out there that needs to be edited. I just need to like sit down and focus on editing it. Hopefully, cross your fingers, you guys. Hopefully, with the um, uh, extra day off I have this week, I actually have a couple of days off, but uh, one of them I'm going to be drugged in the morning. So, uh, with the extra day off I have this week, with Monday, do it then. Yeah, yeah. Do my editing while I'm on drugs. Yes. Yeah. Well, I'm coming out of anesthesia. That's the perfect time to edit. <laughs> I want you to do it live. Go live, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that'll be my first Instagram live. It'll be my daughter with my phone going. You guys got to see this. <laughs> do it from all the bad angles, <laughs> right? Exactly from down here where you can see all thirty-two chins, <laughs> right? <laughs> Uh, but you know, hopefully with that extra day off, I do, I will get an opportunity to do some editing and, um, and maybe cut, record a couple more things, but I definitely, number one, I've got to get the editing. I have my local yarn shop day video that's like sitting on my computer to be edited and I haven't like finished it yet. So I'd, stuff will be getting up late, <laughs> but I'm going to be getting it up. Gosh, darn it. <laughs> uh, well, you're ahead of me. I've, I've just erased all those, you know, if they're, if they're over two or three weeks old, I'm just like, bye. <laughs> You're taking up too much, too much room on my phone. If I'm really desperate to get them, I can get them off of, of YouTube photos or uh, not YouTube, uh, Google photos. Yeah. Yeah. And well, on my channel, I'm going to be doing a lot more because my grandbaby, I'm not going to be watching her in the mornings. So I'll have more time to do stuff and I'm testing. I am testing this beautiful pattern for Erica. Oh, for oh. Erica. Yay. And so I'm super excited to finish this. I absolutely love it. And um, I'm also testing. I'm, I'm starting to do more pattern testing again. I'm not doing that with happily hooked anymore. I like more of, of being able to, to work with it with a designer of the, of the item. So 
that's that's a lot of fun. Um, and I'll be doing some videos on that. And the lives, I haven't decided yet what my uh, Tuesday tutorial is going to be yet. So you should I'm do gonna... a um, a life as a crochet tester vlog and do a video each week and update on how you find your patterns, oh. work oh. with the designers, your tidbits and information on brilliant. Oh, that. that's a whole series for you there, Jen. That yeah. is brilliant because I've I've seen a lot of people in in previous chats asking about um you know how do I become a tester? And that would be perfect. And I have so many tester resources yes. that I know about. Um and speaking of, how would one become a tester for you? Um for me, I just um follow me on Instagram. I will post out there when I need somebody and then I usually direct them to some sort of application. Um, I personally, I will look at people's feed, but I don't, mm -hmm. there are certain designers that, you know, they will only pick you if your feed looks a certain way or if you've done their patterns or if you've tagged them, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. I, tr I try to keep mine open to everybody because I've been on both sides of it. Right. You know, I, I want my patterns to be available to beginners as well as intermediate. So mm -hmm. I do that for my testers as well. I also um, post pictures with their permission mm -hmm. on my Instagram feed. And I also put them within the pattern. And I put all of my testers' Instagram ha handles in the pattern as well so that people can follow them. Oh, I, I love that. Yeah. yeah. That's that's really neat. It's it, it's nice to have some some um some like honorable mention right, being, right. being a tester. I mean, because you know, yeah, you can put out a pattern, anybody can do that, but the testers are what makes it possible for you to look successful. Yeah. Even if it's a simple grammatical error, like a missing comma or something. Mm -hmm. That can make you look bad to certain people. So yeah, yeah, you you never know. Yeah. But. Okay, ladies. Well, I think I think it's about that time. Any final words? Have an amazing thanks long for having having me. <laughs> yes. Yep. Well, thanks for being on. This is our very first of this summer designer de uh, designer of the month. You are our designer of the month. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So this, yeah, you're there. You're our first one. Well, thank yeah. you for having me. All right, everybody. Thank you. Everybody in the chat who was here today. Thank you for being here and watching. Thank you everybody who's watching in the replay. And don't forget, we put all of Erica's links down below. Go check out if you want to be a tester, if you want to get some awesome yarn, if you want to watch some cool YouTube videos, go go see that rock and reel. There you <laughs> go. That's right. <laughs> I, I can't it. resist. That was the perfect song. Yeah, that it it absolutely was. <laughs> okay, you guys, have a wonderful night. All right. All right. Bye. Bye. Oh, I can't end this. Hold on. I think I'm going to end it. I think I'm going to end it. Oh, no. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, wait. She went bye bye, and we're still here, but bye. <laughs> Ginger, don't make me <laughs> scary. <laughs> All right. Ginger, where'd you go? She's probably frantically trying to get back in so she can so she can end it. There she is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. You're not. You are not. It's all good. Okay. All right. Bye. So <laughs> Bye. Bye.